For two days, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, top general in charge of military and international operations, toured Norfolk District base realignment and closure projects. Major General Jeffrey Dorku visited the Fort Belvoir Community Hospital project, as well as many of the ongoing projects at Fort Lee to get a better understanding of how the BRAC projects are tracking and to see how the teams are getting the mission accomplished. You sit inside the Beltway at the, you know, at the headquarters, we try to solve problems and create conditions to enable the folks down on the ground here to deliver all the, the construction products and services and facilities, and, and you really can't do your job unless you get out on the ground and solicit people's ideas, you know, get their opinions, see what's going right. Based on what Dorco is seeing in his tour, he believes the Norfolk District has created a condition that is enabling the teams to deliver on target. I think this is a shining example of things running really well. For the entire Corps of Engineers, this is an historic period. More than $45 billion worth of contract work occurred this past year, the largest amount in its history. According to Dorco, the influx of work has drastically changed the Corps. It's a core of engineers that I, I would be willing to bet 10, 15 years ago, a lot of us could have imagined the agility that we would have now, and we need it given the, the historic scope uh, that we face right now and the size of the program. Like the rest of the Corps, the Norfolk District is seeing its largest amount of work in its history. Much of that at Fort Lee with a more than $1 billion project workload. What's unique about Fort Lee is uh, is the scope and scale. Uh, you can't throw a rock around here without hitting a, a construction site that, that's underway. Even though the amount of work across the core is abundant, the quality of the buildings is not being sacrificed, which is clearly evident at the Fort Belvoir Community Hospital Project. Our soldiers deserve this, and, and I think we're morally obliged to deliver them the best facilities possible, and, and I think we're doing that. Dorco points to the Norfolk District's Fort Lee projects as an example of how BRAC work should go. Oh, the Norfolk District's doing great. You, you walk around here, touch any project. I think you know, Fort Lee is just one of our shining examples. For the Norfolk District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Patrick Bloodgood, Fort Lee, Virginia.